Yes, the sun is still shining out here in Portugal, Cascai, Quinta de Marina, just half an hour from Lisbon. Why am I here today and what am I doing? Well, I'm here courtesy of Glencore Golf, more from them later. But the video that I'm going to film right now is a real interesting one from me on a personal level because it's a debate that I've had for some time in terms of how my bag is made up. I've got a PXG Gen 6 25 degree hybrid and I've also got a six iron from that Gen 6 lineup. And what I want to see with lofts at the same level, what do they each do in terms of performance and why might I have one in the bag over the other? Now I've done a series of these videos in the last uh, few days. It's been really interesting to find the divide between the longest iron that manufacturers produce and their hybrid. And there's been some interesting results but I want to see from Gen 6 a more traditional player style iron and then into a hybrid. Is there a huge difference in terms of things like ball flight? Obviously ball speeds, forgiveness, they're all the key elements that I'll look at in today's video. But also, and where I'm going to start, is that lux element. Because that lux element comes twofold. Which you like at address in terms of which one breeds confidence and then from a shelf appeal perspective I suppose which would you rather have in your bag so take a look at the two now and I'd be interested in your feedback on both levels because the gen 6 iron is very much uh, well undeniably PXG bit of nuts and bolts going on let me know what you think of their gen 6 iron lineup and then I'll give you a little look at that hybrid which uh, to be quite honest with you I've already described as visually at least from address, anyway, probably the best hybrid that is on the market right now, in my opinion at least. But let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section down below. Now I said I've done a few comparisons of late and we probably found the obvious in terms of results apart from one and that was when I did the Stealth HD hybrid versus the Stealth HD 5 iron. And in that one, I kind of was almost surprised at the results in that how well the 5 iron performed compared to the hybrid the paradigm review in exactly the same i would probably say it was similar but maybe lean towards the hybrid so really interested today as to whether or not in each of those the irons were perhaps certainly in the hd a bit more bulky than what i've got in this p model from gen 6 so am i going to struggle in forgiveness levels with this compared to this I'm going to kick this experiment, if you like, off with the hybrid. I'm going to reference the fact we've got this in its standard setting, which is 25 degrees. That is what they number as their five hybrid. And we'll see how this thing performs, first of all, off the tee. Plenty of confidence with hybrid in hand, I must say. Don't feel as though a great deal of effort is required. And that's the kind of results you would expect and hope for towering ball flight just slightly down that left hand side ball speed clearly prevalent not a great deal of effort required ball zips out of there and i'm thinking i can't do that with my six iron or can i so the thought process is simple do you have to generate more club head speed with an iron than you do with a hybrid to generate the same ball speed same power and the same launch i suppose my thought process is yes you do and that's where we struggle as average golfers certainly when we get down to the longer end of the bag that we don't generate the club head speeds when we start to lose that loft in the irons but anyway this is an experiment let's see if that is reality again just took down the left but a super strike felt so good off the club face sit down ball that's okay, not a million miles apart, so it'll be interesting to see and really as comparative swings and strikes, I was really happy, probably as good as I've got, direction a little bit down the left maybe, but really happy with how pure that iron came out and super feel out these Gen 6 irons. So I think we'll whiz up and see exactly where these two have finished in terms of distance to separate them both. Okay, so probably what we expected from those first two tee shots of the day, six iron is behind me and the hybrid is another, let's say 15 to 20 yards further on. Each of them in the first cut are off. I did think I took them a little bit down the left, but we probably, off the tee shots, got exactly what we thought would happen. More ball speeds from the hybrid. 
Now everybody knows I like a little chip and run with a hybrid and uh, of course we've got to put that to the test here this morning. But this is an horrendously difficult pin position and maybe we could have picked something a little bit more straightforward. But anyway, here's the hybrid's effort. That's got to get to the top of the brow and then it's got to release down and sit down. Wow, these greens are quick, but I'm so pleased with that as a shot. And the point I was mentioning is just that from a loft perspective, the same, would I be choosing a six iron to play this shot? The answer would be no. And I think that's where the versatility that you find in a hybrid is something you've got to consider. And the fact that I've just hit the floor and not even made the brow probably means the hybrid is the clear winner in that aspect. Today's video comes to you in association with long-term channel travel partner Glencore Golf Holidays and we are at Quinta da Marina in Cascai, Portugal. The hotel and golf course have been a superb place to play and stay in the Portuguese sunshine and the proximity to Lisbon Airport and nearby Cascai make it the perfect European golf destination. So if you like what you see in today's video, then make sure you click on the link in the video description below or head on over to glencoregolf.com for more booking information. And although that situation in terms of the chip and run is perhaps something you'd not consider with either club, although like I said, I am keen on that hybrid shot. You've got to consider what happened there and what the assistance is in the hybrid that you're never going to get in this type of iron. And especially in this XF model that I've chose to play in a Gen 6 and that's little rail situation there, which again just helps the club slide along the turf. And if you are going to stub anything, and I'm talking about a full shot here in terms of getting it a little bit heavy, in terms of that turf and ground interaction is greatly assisted by what happens on the bottom of a hybrid in general and in particular with those raised bars that I think do have an effect on that uh, impact location and like I said when you're talking about playing a blade width or a sole width rather of an iron like this you're not going to have that kind of help so what happened there although in a short game scenario does really lend itself to a long game long shot situation I should say but versatility comes in different formats and yes we can use this to chip and run around the greens but there's another element that you need to consider and that's really what can you do in terms of manipulating the club head to make the ball do different things and what I mean by that is predominantly ball flight <clears throat> the situation we're looking tight par four to say the least I probably want to just hit a little bit of a lower ball flight to make sure I've got that ball going down the middle and to do that with a six iron I probably think I can with a hybrid with that kind of loft I'm not so sure there's only one way to find out I suppose tree line on the left edge ball a little bit back in stance can we get this ball firing just a little bit lower That was nice and controlled. It's not that big ball flight we're looking for, it's just about that keyword control. I couldn't go down there and place that ball any better. The one thing that I hope you are picking up in terms of audio is just how good they've made Gen 6 sound and feel as a crisp knock out that comes out the center, which is so satisfying, but also it's soft, it's responsive, and it's one of the key elements into why I've not moved away from PXG irons for quite some time. I really do think they do a good job of that. So question is, can we get that same sort of control oh, in a hybrid as what we've managed to achieve with an iron? Maybe ball flight is not the key thing here. It's like I said, it's about control. It's about the ability to hit half a shot. And yeah, if we can slice it down a little bit, that would be a bonus. Well, it's a controlled shot, and to be honest with you, in terms of distance-wise, there's not a great deal separating them. So, in theory, what everyone would suggest is there's no way that you're going to flight that down, and maybe more importantly, that you couldn't get that real change in sort of control element. I'm talking about with hybrids in general. And I think what we've seen there is you certainly can, but it's probably not as effective in terms of the ball flight, a penetrating ball flight that is, as what we managed to achieve with the six iron, but it is doable. 
So just taking a guide in terms of distance again where those balls finish, that's ball number one, dead centre of the fairway, which was the six iron. And the hybrid is just a little bit further down. And to be honest with you, from the kick it's probably got off here, just extended that roll a little bit further. So nothing to separate them in terms of ball speeds on that type of ball flight with that type of swing. Right, the next scenario is very straightforward one from the fairway 175 touching 180 in which club do you want to reach for again confidence is key i'm thinking now about also descent angle because what i want to be seeing is it coming down steep because we've got to get this ball to land on what are really firm greens here at kins of the marina so several considerations in the choice of club That's a super strike and a super ball flight and exactly what you'd expect. It looks to have pitched and sort of drawn to a, a, a halt at least anyway. We'll go and have a look as we have with all the others. But that confidence element is the word that keeps cropping up. And I know that I put an half decent swing on it and I feel like this is going to do me a job. And don't forget, I'm 180 yards in into a green this is where your score is really going to make or break it's a big change in well get on the green or what's going to happen with this six iron in hand let's see so iron up next i'd put myself into that sort of category of where i like playing irons i've always preferred them than hybrids to be quite honest with you so it's not a kind of shot that i would be particularly fearful of in terms of the distance and just looking down at an iron is something that uh well I'm confident with let's say but as, is that a sort of misplaced confidence well, you can see the clear difference in sort of ball flight straight away they've both done I mean that's done okay in terms of definitely left the flag wasn't the purest of strikes and that's the big thing for me wasn't the purest of strikes and therefore how much forgiveness really can you pack into these things in terms of helping me out when it doesn't go quite according to plan which it didn't there and i've got a feeling the same sort of swing same sort of strike i might have seen a lot more help out of that hybrid right ball to my right is that of the six iron and quite a considerable difference the ball on my left neither of them made the green by the way maybe a little bit of uphill elevation that we didn't play its part there or played its part rather um but again sort of 15 to 20 yards separating the two of these and clearly better strike from the hybrid but overall better performance so hybrid was with the winner there without doubt wasn't it Right, we've moved forward onto the ladies' tee on the 18th here at Kinsa de Marina, and uh, that the reason is we've got a little bit of an obstacle to the left-hand side. So what I want to see is, first of all, are we able to shape the ball from right to left with both of these clubs? But also one negative that a lot of people would aim at hybrids in general is that they've got a certain left in them. It can have a little bit of a closed face at times, and that can be a little bit worrying, so this type of tee shot would scare anyone to death. I think that hybrids have changed in these last year or two and I would say that's very much an old principle of what hybrids do so if you have got that mentality but haven't tried a hybrid for some years I would say give them a go despite what happens in this attempt to move this ball from right to left well that's just you know that's a that's a great iron shot for me personally to be honest with you didn't move a great deal just a little bit of right to left and it's a shot I'm fairly comfortable with with an iron. Uh, we'll see how we get on with the hybrid right now. But the one thing I keep on referencing is just that crisp knock that you get out of them. I love these things. Right, let's see what we can do with hybrid. There's no doubt that from a position at address, the face definitely always looks a tad closed. Let's hope that doesn't affect what I do right now. That's two super shots I've just hit and a real good demonstration of the difference in ball flight and also the difference in ball speed because uh, as much as I enjoyed hitting that iron it is undeniable just how different those two things were in the sense that that was so much more higher in terms of its ball flight but I also reckon in that instance from our ball speed perspective 
I think that ball is a lot further down the fairway than the six iron was, but we'll go and find out. Distance in terms of difference in an iron, I was thought was really well struck, very happy with that. That was there. Rather than me walk all the way to the brow, we've probably, you know, I mean it's 30 yards probably difference in terms of the two. Um, ball speed far, far greater off of that strike from, uh, from the hybrid. And like I said, I was happy with that iron shot. We're learning a lot. Well, I hope you are. I know I am. Now, another consideration might be playing from the rough. We're we'll talking about that flexibility again, which you fancy picking up an iron, as we'll try very shortly, or into the hybrid. And this isn't in what you'd call heavy rough. And I think if it got any heavier, then maybe the hybrid would be a clear favorite. But we'll try from uh, a little bit of a nestle lie and see what it does in terms of getting this ball out. Well, what it does is really well. <laughs> Super ball flight, picked it up. I had very little interaction with the rough at all. Picked that up really clean and a decent ball flight. But I've got a feeling the hybrid just might do it a little bit differently in terms of that ball flight. Let's see. Right, a more natural selection might be, like I said, the hybrid. We'll see if the rails, we'll see if the mass help get this ball airborne, which is what I'm expecting to see. And yeah, it delivered. Oh, wow. Come on then. That's right on the flag, but uh, my performance aside, what did it do? Well, it went through the rough and cut through it very, very differently than that of the six iron. It also launched the ball up considerably higher, which we've also seen from other shots. It probably did everything we'd have expected to do in terms of performance benefits over an iron. Right, final shout out to Glencore Golf and Kinta de Marina for hosting us because uh, it's been another incredible day out here in Portugal. But back to the review, what were the final thoughts? Well, I just want to go back to the lofts of each of these two. The six iron is 26 degrees, the hybrid was 25, so you'd expect it to be carrying just that little bit further. Probably seen that throughout. Obviously, you've got longer shaft as well with the hybrid. That's another consideration to make. Um, but without repeating everything, or I'm going to repeat it very quickly, launched higher with the hybrid, maybe a little bit more flexibility with the hybrid, better out the rough with the hybrid, and you go to the iron, a bit more control, definitely can hit a different ball flight with it a little bit easier. They're very much different. And when I did the review of the Stealth HD iron versus the Stealth HD hybrid, there was the only time that I seen a switch up where the iron was possibly the better option. But for me in today's test, if I had to stand on a tee or in the raw for any of the situations you've seen us in, and I had to produce a shot from 175 to 180 yards, which would I rather go to? And it would have to be the hybrid. As much as I like playing irons, the performance out the hybrid is unquestionable. Anyway, that was my findings. And interesting enough, I've got both of these clubs in my bag because they do different things and cover different yardages, but my five iron has gone. Right, all done. I hope you enjoyed that one. Like I said, it was uh, the beginning of this video. It was a personal of interest to me, this video, and uh, I learned a lot. Hope you did too. And uh, let me know in that comment section below what your thoughts are, and I'll see you all tomorrow night.